Hail Internet, I am Lord Vikingbeard. Welcome to Shadow Complex Remastered, a Metroidvania with modern aesthetic and old school sensibilities. You play Jason Fleming, out on an adventurous date to some local caves with his new squeeze when she suddenly disappears. Jason searches the caves only to discover the girlfriend captured, a large underground complex and a shadowy organization with nefarious plans. Based on Orson Scott Card's Empire, the story is actually rather good and competently told. Although at the same time, not forced in your face and can be ignored without adversely affecting your experience. So you begin, underarmed and overwhelmed needing to explore and build up your arsenal in order to even the odds. Shadow Complex is very much a Metroidvania, with the leaning far more toward the Metroid part. With a variety of weapons and equipment used to open various doors and hatches impeding your progress. The complex itself is nice and big, with loads of nooks and crannies to find. Usually hiding a collectible power-up to increase your strength or bolster the different weapons and munition supplies. Speaking of weapons, there's a nice selection allowing for some pretty interesting tactics during combat. While you can run into most rooms and blast away until everything is dead, there is a great satisfaction and efficiency to sneaking in through some vents, dropping between two foes, performing a double takedown, throwing a grenade behind some nearby wall to take out another two, before drop kicking the final guard off a ledge to his screaming doom. It's fast paced and satisfying, with XP bonuses for quickly dispatching soldiers. The controls do a great job facilitating this, with both an auto aim while generally moving around and a precision when using the right stick, allowing you to take on rooms full of guards with relative ease. I say relative, when the game starts you are very vulnerable, little health and pretty impotent weapons, so things are tough although fair, as you aren't thrown into any fights where you are massively outnumbered. However, after a certain point in the game, your equipment becomes so good and varied that fights start becoming ever easier, even with hordes of enemies thrown at you. Also, if you go for 100%, the final piece of armour turns the game from pretty easy to out and out trivial. I'm honestly not sure how I feel about it. While it's really fun to go from zero to literally superhero, it would perhaps have been nice to have a challenge thrown at you that made these powers feel necessary instead of just overkill. The visuals are nice and the 3D is used to great effect having enemies on different planes to you, giving the fights a nice dynamic look and making them pretty spectacular for what is in essence a 2D platformer. However it does bring one problem and it can be a pretty annoying one. Sometimes when trying to shoot at a background object or enemy, the targeting, which is semi-auto in these circumstances, can be a little bit finicky. While I find most of the time, this can frustrate during more intense fights. But this along with the aforementioned overpowered armour are a couple of specks of dirt on a glorious trophy of a game. Odin approved. You can grab Shadow Complex Remastered for, well, right now, totally free on PC. At least for a limited time, from the Epic Games launcher with prices to be confirmed when the promotion is over. Shadow Complex is extremely fun and an absolute must for Metroidvania fans. Not grabbing it while it's free would be a crime. Farewell and thanks for watching.